Good day everyone and welcome back to another beautiful video from Western Australia. In this video we are going to watch about our journey to a national park called as Bells Rapids Park in Upper Swan in Western Australia. This place is situated in the northeast direction from Perth and 40 minutes away from the city. A very beautiful natural place where there are rivers and mountains. We can go for hiking and camping in that place and a beautiful location to spend your weekend getaway. We will see everything in detail in this video but before we go into this video make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon to watch more of our content. I started my journey from a suburb called Thornley in Perth around 10 o'clock in the morning and on my way through a highway called Roe Highway, something unfortunately happened. A road train apparently rolled over in a junction and hit a light pole. It caused a massive traffic block for a while and I was sitting in the car moving very very slowly waiting for the traffic to be cleared. After some time, traffic police cleared the traffic and I resumed my journey to Bells Rapids Park. After half an hour drive, finally I reached Bells Rapids Park. Because I started a little bit late and because of the traffic problem, I reached the destination around midday. It was pretty late in the day to start a hike, but I started walking inside. There is a beautiful old bridge at the entrance of this national park. It was built in mid 90s and it's still standing strong. Swan river runs below the bridge and you can see beautiful hills around the river. As I visited that place during the early summer time, it was a little bit dry and not much water was present in the river. This place would be more beautiful and greener during the winter and spring time. Come past the bridge, you can find two trails in the national park. First one is the long walk marked in the red color and it is called as the goat walk circuit. It is nearly a 3 km trail. The second one is the short walk nearly 2.5 km and it is a walk along the river. It is called as river walk return and marked in blue color. I chose to do the walk along the river so that we can see different parts of the river and many sceneries and started walking along the river.
As the place started drying, there was not much water in the river, many rocks were exposed, it was shallow in many places and less amount of water was there in the river. In some places, there were a lot of algae too. I stopped in few places, took some rest, enjoyed the nature and surroundings, even went to the middle of the river in some places. Actually, it was nice spending time in a place like that alone, just sitting with nature, with the sounds of birds and animals. The hills around the river was very high, they were dry and I could be able to see many small trees and bushes on them. In the river, in some places, you can also see some rotten trees fell across and very green colored grass grown on them. It was very beautiful. In some of the trees along the river bank, there were ropes tied and during the water level is high, People used to hang to them and jump into the river water from the banks. After trekking more than 1.5 kilometers, I stopped, took some rest and hydrated myself with a Powerade electrolyte drink. It felt so good to drink that after walking for a long time under the sun. Then I resumed my journey and kept walking along the river. In some places, our trail went away from the river, but there were arrow marks to show us the correct direction. In some places of the river, there were many trees fallen across and I saw very dense green colored grass which made that place even more beautiful. 
I could also be able to imagine how beautiful that place would be during the winter season. Definitely more beautiful and a worthy place to visit. After a few minutes of walk, I nearly came up to the end of the riverside walk. There was a sign showing end of the trail and an arrow showing up. I climbed up and discovered there was a trail leading from there to the long trail called as Goat Walking Trail. As it was too hot and nothing much to do in that place, I started walking back in the same riverside walk to our starting point. Overall, it was a different and nice experience to visit the Bells Rapids Park. But I would say this place is more beautiful in winter season and a very nice place close to the city for a weekend getaway with your family and friends. I hope you would have enjoyed this video and if you did so, leave a thumbs up on this video, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to watch more contents like this. I will see you all in another beautiful episode. Till then, thanks for watching and cheers.